All right, so in this video, I'm going to be installing Arch Linux on a VM in VirtualBox. So I'm going to go ahead and press now, type Arch next, 4096, next, I'm going to create a hard disk, next, next, I'm going to set it at 120 gigabytes. Create. I'm going to go to settings, storage. I'm going to choose a disk file. Click on Arch Linux. Okay. So I already downloaded the ISO. As you just saw there, I'm going to go ahead and start up the VM. I'm going to go ahead and move this to another workspace. Move this screen to another workspace here. There we go. So I'm just going to start it up. Capture. See, I'm going to scale it up here. So now we can begin. So I'm going to go ahead and ping a website. Make sure the internet is working, which it definitely is working because this is a VM. But just for show, the internet is working. So I'm going to do time date CTL set NTP true. Shouldn't take that long. Let me try it again. There we go. Now I'm going to do an LSBLK, so it's DevSDA. So I'm going to do CFDisk slash dev slash SDA. I'm going to go ahead and do DOS. Now I'm going to make this 128 megs primary. Make that bootable. Just press B. And the rest of the space. It's going to be its own partition. It's going to be our root partition. I'm going to write. Type yes. Quit. So I'm going to do make fs dot ext4 slash dev slash sda1 make fs dot ext4 dev sda2 now we're going to mount our partitions so slash dev slash sda Two slash MNT. And I'm going to mount make, I'm going to make directory slash mnt slash boot and I'm going to mount slash dev slash sda1 slash mnt slash boot so if I do an lsb lk it's all mounted here I'm 
Now I'm going to do a pack strap. Slash MNT. Base. Base. Devel. Linux. Linux firmware. And I want Vim as well. So I'm just going to let that do its thing. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to do gen fs tab dash capital U slash MNT. Mount Etsy FS tab. Now we're going to chur root arch chur root slash MNT. I'm going to set the time zone LN SF use R share. Zone info America Phoenix Let's see local time HW clock sys T O H C I'm gonna edit the locale gen file. So vim etsy locale dot gen en us Do locale gen vim etsy locale dot conf lang equals en us dot utf dash eight. Vim slash Etsy slash host name and I'm just gonna do arch MK in it CPIO dash capital P Now I'm going to set the root password. Now I'm going to do Pac-Man, just capital S, Grub, and Network Manager. Watch. System CTL Enable Network Manager. Rub install dev SDA I'm 
crop mk config o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg I think that's it, so. Exit. U mount dash R slash M and T. And I think I can reboot now. Let's hope this works. There we go. Arch Linux. So luckily it worked. Let's log into the root account. So I'm going to do pacman dash s. I'm going to install NeoFetch. Xorg, Firefox, PyCom, Xorg, Xinit, SXHKD. and sudo just do the defaults so now I'm going to go ahead and make a new user so user add mg wheel everett So now I'm going to do vim etsy sudoers on comment to allow all members of group wheel to execute any command. I'm going to go ahead and uncomment that. I'm also going to do defaults TTY tickets and now I'm going to generate an XNet RC file so Vim. I'm going to go ahead and exit. Log in as the user. Actually. I'm just going to type a password wrong three times because I forgot something. Actually. I just log in like that. I forgot to set a password. sudo pacman dash s ranger I'm 
Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and install DWM. So I'm going to go ahead and install my configuration of DWM. I'm going to do a pseudo pacman s get and make. Get clone https colon slash slash github.com slash Everett Jones slash dwm dot git. to DWM, sudo make clean install. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to install ST, which is my terminal. HTTPS. Git clone. GitHub.com slash Everett Jones slash ST dot git. Wait. Let's try that again. This time inside of the home directory, not the DWM folder. CDST, sudo make clean install. Okay, now I'm going to do the .xnit rc. Bam. X in it RC. So I'm going to do execute DWM. Execute SL status, which I will install later. Ampersign. Execute FA. There's a different command for it. and execute PyCon execute SXHKD and and I believe that is it So I'm going to do, I need to download D menu.
Cricut, Cologne, HTTPS, Cologne, slash, slash, git.sucklist.org, slash, gmenu. CDD menu, sudo make clean install. And I need the Ubuntu fonts as well. Pseudo Pacman dash couple S TTF Ubuntu font family. Whoops. TTF. Yes. So now I can do start X and it loads up. Very nice. Let's see. I didn't have PyCom installed, I don't think. Yeah, because it's not starting up for some reason. I might have forgot to put it in my exit RC. So it looks like I did, but it's not loading for some reason. That is very strange. So now I'm going to go ahead and get SL status working. All right, so I'm going to do sudo pacman s zip and unzip and I'm going to do CD downloads so I did download the SL status from my Google Drive so I'm going to go ahead and unzip as a status. So I'm going to go ahead and move SL status to slash home slash Everett and CD SL status and sudo make clean install so let's see let's start x let's see if sl status loads up and it does load up so now i'm going to go ahead and set the background Open up Firefox. So now I'm going to give a background. I'm going to make directory wallpaper there we 
go. So I'm going to open up Ranger, go to folder wallpaper, open that up, it's going to open up in Fay, go to background, set, scaled. There we go. Very nice. Now I'm going to go into config, cd.config. I'm going to go ahead and make directory sxhkd. CD, SFCHKD, and then SFCHKDRC. Super plus W Firefox. I do mod W open Firefox. So there we go. I have successfully set up and configured Arch Linux just how I like it in a VM. So perhaps you can use this as a guide to install Arch yourself. And in a later video, I will show you how to set up DWM. It is a very nice window manager. So yeah.